Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up AWS Resource Explorer as a way to search for your AWS infrastructure components by name all in the home of the AWS console. It's a really handy feature, it's going to improve your quality of life, make it easier to find things, and it costs absolutely nothing. The only hitch is that you need to do some initial setup in order to start using this feature, but it's free so it definitely is worth it. So the cool part about this feature is that once you get it set up, you can use this top navigation bar here to directly search for DynamoDB tables, Lambda functions, subnets, VPCs, whatever you want by name right here in this search box here. And the way you would typically do that is if you just type in uh, slash resources, that's the new way to access that feature, um, and then press space, you can now search for your resource by name. So if I had a fun function called Lambda function or whatever, uh, you'd be able to quickly find it. Now, because we don't have Resource Explorer enabled on this AWS account, you see here it's just giving us, you know, it's telling us to use resource search, but we haven't enabled this feature, so we can't actually do this yet. And if you do enable uh, Resource Explorer, but you do not set a default view, which is something I'm going to show you how to do in a couple moments here, you're going to get an error here. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how to fix that basically right now. All right, so here we are in the home page of the Resource Explorer section. What you want to do if this is your first time setting up Resource Explorer is that you're going to have this button here, go to Resource Explorer. And you should see here, before you can search for the resources, you must turn on and set up Resource Explorer. So this is just an initial step. You only have to do this once per AWS account and it's shared across all users in that account. So you're going to click on go to Resource Explorer here. And this is the initial setup step that you need to walk through. So you need to do what's called setting up an index in Resource Explorer. And indexes are just ways for uh, Resource Explorer to collect information from the different regions in your AWS account. So you can go with the quick setup here. And with a quick setup, you just have to set up one region that's gonna be your aggregator index region. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, US East one here, which is just my standard region. And this is gonna make it so that we can search across all regions all at once using the search box up here and using the additional search functionality that's built into this tool as well. Um, now, if you have a more advanced use case, usually around like kind of governance and uh, limiting the type of data that gets sent to certain regions, you can use the advanced setup. And the advanced setup allows you to create indexes only in selected regions in the account, and it allows you to control replication. So you're not replicating anything into different regions in this account either. 99% of you aren't going to need the advanced setup, so we're just going to stick to the quick one for this example. Okay, for service access, nothing here that's important. For cost, this costs you absolutely nothing, so there's no reason really not to do this. Now, as a reminder, this is going to be the, the only time you have to do this initial step. And if you want to learn more about the aggregator indexes and the implications of changing all those settings and everything, there's a really great AWS article here um, that just got released in tandem with this new uh, service being launched, which explains how this works. You can take a look at it and see if it's right for you. But uh, yeah, we're just going to use the quick setup in this case. All right, so let's go ahead and click on re go to the Resource Explorer now. You can see that it just is attempting to create the indexes in the different accounts. These are going to be responsible for collecting information about the resources that we have in those accounts. So you can see here everything was success. That's great. And we are going to now proceed to resource search. And just before I do that, I just noticed this top section here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, it can take up to 36 hours to index resources in your AWS account. Search results may be incomplete before then. So just keep that in mind if you're expecting to see all of your infrastructure immediately after turning this on. And I'm pretty sure as well that like the SLA is 36 hours. Like if you create a Lambda function or do stuff elsewhere in the console, it may not reflect immediately in Resource Explorer. So just account for that delay when you're using this thing. All right, so let's proceed to resource search now. And right now it's just still propagating. So it's only showing a couple different items that exist in this AWS account. But as time goes on, you'll start to see more of this stuff pop up. Let me actually just try to refresh this, see if it updates uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, so you can see more stuff is constantly being added. Before we had uh, three, now we have 13. And so you can do a whole bunch of stuff here using the query search box. And you can click on the info button here to see a little bit more. So you can use different types of filters. So you can search for specific ARNs, specific account IDs, specific regions, specific services. You can also use things like wildcards. So say, give me all the things that match this pattern or give me all the things that exclude this pattern. Lots of stuff 
that you can do here and make this really easy to find stuff really quickly. Uh, so for example, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to have everything here, but let's just say, I guess, EC2, since that's definitely here. Um, you can just type in EC2 colon, and then you can see here's all the stuff that matches that pattern. So you can create some pretty sophisticated patterns actually and match this with multiple different entries and multiple different filters, but you can play along with this and see how it works. Now, one thing that I wanted to tell you about as well is that we are using the default view, which allows us to see all the different AWS resources in this account. Now, another useful way to use this tool is you can create pre-established views that filter for specific things. So say, for example, you want to have a view that allows you to quickly search for all the dev resources in this account. And then you also want a way to search for all the prod resources in this account. You can create a view that uses a pre-established query pattern that filters on the prod tags or the uh, beta tags or whatever you're using for your test environment there. That makes it really, really easy to find stuff quickly to use these pre-established views that already filter stuff out for you before you come into this section here. So just a, a quick sidebar about views. And by the way, you can go and create them here if you click on views. Right now, we only have a default view, but you can create a new one that specifies that search pattern. You know what? Let me just show you. So you can click on create view here and then you can name this whatever you want. And then in resources filter here, you can say include only resources that match a specified filter. So if you click on this filter query now, this will show you again what we have as available as options. So we can apply a filter query here to say something like service EC2 and we're going to say create view here. And then now this view only applies for EC2. So if we click on it and we go to explore resources here, we're only going to see stuff that has EC2 in it. Okay, so that's how to create custom views for other types of use cases. Now, one thing that I did want to point out is that in order for that top search bar here to work, you need to have what's called a default view set up. If you don't have a default view, you can create a default view by just creating a normal one here and then setting, uh, going to actions here and saying set as default. What this is going to do is make it such that any search pattern that you've defined here for this view, it's going to make it such that whenever you search for resources, it's going to use this filter pattern. So in our case, it's only going to limit the resources to EC2. But if you use the default, this is going to allow you to search for everything because that's the, the setting of this view. It's all by default. Um, so make sure that you do have a default view here or else this top thing isn't going to work. So after you get that all set up, now you should be able to use slash resources here. I'm not sure if it finished indexing everything, but let's try. So let's say EC2. And you can see now it's showing us all the stuff that has to do with EC2 or VPC, all that kind of stuff. Let's type in like Lambda function to see if any of my functions have arrived yet. Uh, not yet, but you can see one of the log groups for the function has arrived um, and it's just taking a little while to propagate. If you enjoyed this video, check out the other ones on the left and right. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.